Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this video as I'm here with updates on the tropics. We have two disturbances in the North Atlantic Basin at this time to talk about, and it is possible that they both could develop into subtropical storms and acquire the names Kappa and Lambda, which are the next names to be used. And so guys, before I go into details with these systems, however, please do subscribe if you haven't, and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical side connectivity right throughout the season and you can also follow me on instagram my other account is the girl danny and my personal account is danny henry official okay guys so here um first we have this tropical disturbance that is actually designated as invest 99l and it is currently given a 40 percent chance of development through both 48 hours and five days so the chance has risen so it's starting to get a bit more likely that this one develops and we're going to be looking at what our models think later down in this video and so guys aside from well it seems like nowhere will really be affected by this tropical system directly and the next disturbance is given a low 20% chance to develop in that shaded yellow region. Notice that we're not seeing an X and that is because that low pressure area has not yet developed but it will. And actually our models have been quite consistent with this one developing. And so guys um, let's first go to the GFS model and this is by Sunday the 29th of November. So one day before the end of the season we see this low pressure area we see that something maybe a storm has formed in that in the vicinity of where we're now seeing that shaded yellow region and we're not seeing the isobars which are the black lines being consistent with the other disturbance given a 40 percent chance and so going further out to monday the end of the season now there we have it so it looks like they both have developed into storms so will that one um, in the vicinity near the Canary Islands and the Azores, will that become Kappa before this one? Well, we have to wait and see. And then next we have the Euro model, which is showing something a bit similar to what G um, the GFS model is showing. It's showing the, that low pressure system forming um, in, the, in the vicinity of the Canary Islands and the Azores right there over in the northeastern Atlantic but it's not being so consistent with that other disturbance. Next the CMC model it's definitely showing that other disturbance developing as well. The icon model is showing it too so it is likely that this is going to develop based on the model trends here because they're not really showing much going on for the next disturbance that we're currently seeing being highlighted in orange for development which signifies a medium chance of development so we really have to wait and see but in terms of favorable conditions across the atlantic basin conditions will be a bit favorable for that one highlighted in orange to develop because um, we see this little spot here in this vicinity of favorable shear which is indicated by the greens and then the yellows being neutral and the reds unfavorable and we also have a bit of favorable shear coming into the Caribbean and the GFS model was showing something trying to develop in the most southerly part of the Caribbean Sea and affect Central America again this does not have to happen at all guys so uh, um, in terms of the ocean temperatures across the North Atlantic Basin of course we're having a cool down the Caribbean is very warm so if something is to develop in the Caribbean it would actually not have a hard time to do so because of the favorable ocean temperatures as well as that favorable wind shear that's starting to set in a bit but we really have to wait and see what's going to be happening in the next couple of days guys and so guys that is really it for this update and if you found this video to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and i will keep giving updates on the tropics as time goes by